stars in jazz. We don't have a future of jazz if we don't have fantastic jazz students. So every year we give important scholarships to students who are, show promise and are very serious about their jazz education. And this year we are thrilled to present a scholarship award to one of the students sitting on stage tonight and they don't even know it. And I'm going to turn things over a moment to the band director of Georgia Southern University, Rick Mason. Thank, thank you, Paula. I'm actually the director of the Jazz Ensemble at Georgia Southern University, uh, the Statesboro campus. Uh, a year ago, we brought in a young man uh, as, a, as a freshman, and he was a fine player uh, when he came through the door. And in, within one year, he's become a superb player. Uh, any of you that have played jazz and uh, experimented with improvisation will understand how difficult that is to do, and it takes a lifetime to be able to do it well. Uh, Dizzy Gillespie said at the end of his career that he was still trying to figure it out. Uh, we have a young man that I feel has, has done a tremendous amount of, of work in, in one year. He's become one of our leaders, one of, one of our go-to guys. And at this time, we would like to present uh, to Mr. Connor Mallett the Savannah Jazz Scholarship. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do it this way simply because there's not enough room. <laughs> yeah. Here, you want to stand on one side yep, for yep. a photo opportunity? Yep. All right. Congratulations, Connor. Thank you, thank you. Well done. Well deserved. There you go. Thank you. I, I can't wait to I can't wait to see you fold that up and put it in your wallet. But, yeah. <laughs> I, I actually have the check for you, uh, the, real one. the real one, so be nice and I'll give it to you. <laughs> All right, we'll begin our part of the program this afternoon with a piece by, written by Chris Berg, a bassist. Uh, he wrote this piece called Danza del Carcayu. Don't ask me what Carcayu means, I have no idea. I looked it up, there is no such word. But anyway, this is Danza del Carcayu by Chris Berg.
Thank you. That was, uh, that was Donza Del Carcayu. Featured a couple of our students, uh, Connor Mallet on alto sax. Pablo Tobar on tenor sax. And our lead trombonist, Kirkland Sanders. This next piece, uh, kind of an interesting title. Uh, it was written by uh, David Metzger. David Metzger is an arranger, uh, orchestrator, orchestrated over 50, over 50 films in, in Hollywood. Most of them were Disney uh, pictures. He did uh, Mulan, he did uh, Frozen, but he also did Armageddon too. So, so he, quite, quite diverse uh, uh, of an arranger. He, he worked for Maynard Ferguson as Maynard's uh, chief arranger for a while and also uh, for The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. He was their chief orchestrator for a while. He wrote this piece, it's, uh, it's sort of a Thad Jones style uh, blues shuffle piece. Any of you are familiar with Thad Jones? He's a trumpet player, a composer, worked out of New York for many years. He had a big band with uh, a drummer Mel Lewis, Thad Jones Mel Lewis band. And they, had, they held court <laughs> at uh, the Village Vanguard, which was a jazz club uh, they had a steady gig for years on Monday nights. Phenomenal, phenomenal band. Uh, anyway, we're going to play a tune uh, that's going to feature Pablo Tabar on tenor, and it's entitled Bang That Wall, Harvey.
That was Bang That Wall Harvey. <laughs> great, great title. Great title. Uh, next, we're going to feature our Savannah Jazz Scholarship winner. Uh, by the way, they had no idea about that scholarship. I, w I kept that a secret for, from everybody. Uh, so, congratulations. <laughs> We're going to do a piece, it's going to feature Connor Mallet. Uh, it's written by Pat Matheny. If you're familiar with Pat Matheny, he's one of the most, oh God, beautiful, beautiful writers, guitarist, uh, very contemporary, uh, very prolific writer. His, his harmonies uh, and melodies are absolutely gorgeous. They're, they're, they're beautiful. Uh, Bob Kernow, an arranger that's been around for a long time, has done arrangements for the Stan Kenton Band back in the 70s. He sort of made it a mission to, uh, to take the music of, of uh, Pat Metheny and uh, Pat's pianist and, uh, with the Pat Metheny group, Lyle Mays, take their music and, and write it for big band. So this is uh, a terrific arrangement of a piece called Always and Forever featuring Connor Mallet.
that was Connor Mallet on Always and Forever. Isn't that a gorgeous tune? Pat Metheny just is such a phenomenal composer. Next piece we're going to do for you, uh, it's going to feature Connor Mallet again, uh, and Pablo Tavar again, and Jarrett Thompson on drums. Uh, this is a Freddie Hubbard tune. And if, again, if you're familiar with Freddie Hubbard, again, a contemporary trumpet player and, and composer. Uh, he's very influential in the post-bop and hard bop era following bebop. And phenomenal, phenomenal musician. He, as a leader, he recorded over 60 albums as a leader. And as a sideman, he recorded over 100 uh, albums. And that was between the 1970s and when he passed away. I think he passed away in 2008 or 2009. I, I can't recall specifically. But that's a tremendous amount of work. That's an incredible body of work. Uh, this piece called Crisis uh, it has a lot of ins and outs in it. And I, I think you'll find it interesting. It's a, it's a great piece. We've had a good time playing it and working on it. Uh, and we're featuring, again, Connor Mallet, Pablo Tabar, and Jarrett Thompson.
That was Crisis by Freddie Hubbard. Uh, I would like to do two things. I'm going to do it all at one time. I would like to introduce you to the members of the band, and two, I would like to give them a chop break. Kind of works hand in hand. Uh, on trumpet, let's see, who have we got on trumpet? Uh, let's see, let's start this end here. Meredith Hurst. Colton Gibbs. On lead trumpet, Blaze Jackson. Nick McGurk. And Eduardo Sanchez. Also known as Lalo. One of these, one of these days you have to explain to me how that came about. I have no idea how that. <laughs> uh, on trombone, let's go with on this end here. Our bass trombonist, Zach Gatewood. Jameson Childers. Our lead trombonist, Kirkland Sanders. And Thomas Shandoff. Let's see, who next? Oh, saxophones, let's try you guys. <laughs> On Barry Sax, L.J. Hollingsworth. <laughs> On second tenor, Grant Moy. <laughs> On lead alto, uh, what was your name again? <laughs> Connor Mallet. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah Pekarek. <laughs> and on jazz tenor, Pablo Tobar. Our rhythm section on piano, Ty Cundy. On bass, the incomparable Mia Rowe. And let's see, who's, who's on drums this time? Oh, uh, Pierce Tanner is on drums now. And Jarrett Thompson is on auxiliary percussion now. They, they trade off. All right, did I give you guys enough time to rest your chops a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, next piece we're going to do, we're going to do a Matt and Cat and Goob piece uh, titled Because It's There. Matt and Cat and Goob is a Los Angeles-based, uh, well, he does a little bit of everything. He's a saxophonist, uh, he's a pianist, he's a composer, uh, he's a, a pops orchestra conductor. As a matter of fact, he, he was one of the originators of the Macon Pops Orchestra. I can't remember exactly how long ago that was. I know he uh, uh, did a concert with the Hilton Head Symphony, I think it was last year, a year before. Uh, he has some family lineage. His mother is the jazz singer Mavis Rivers, a uh, phenomenal jazz singer. And he's, turned, he's, he's an incredible ar arranger. He's got a tremendous big band in Los Angeles. And we're going to do his Because It's There.
That featured uh, Pablo Tabar on tenor. And Pierce, Pierce Tanner on drums. Next piece we'd like to do for you is uh, written by a, a young lady named Patty Darling. She is the uh, head of the jazz studies program at Lawrence University in Wisconsin. Uh, she was preceded by her mentor, a wonderful uh, jazz composer named Fred Sturm. Fred went to school there, taught there, went on to run the uh, jazz program uh, at Eastman. And he passed away a few years ago, and Patty has succeeded him uh, as running the program at Lawrence University. She writes very similar to him, uh, one of the most eclectic writers, both Fred Sturm and Patty. And this is one of those type of pieces. It's hard to pigeonhole where this type of piece would fit in. Uh, if you look at the score, the score says uh, hip hop swing. And we play it, and I don't hear much hip-hop in it. I hear more swing to it. But we'll play it for you. You decide. You tell us if it's hip-hop or if it's swing.
So what do you think, hip hop or swing? <laughs> I'm not sure. Every time I hear it, I go back and forth. Eh, it's a little hip hop, eh, it's a little swing. I'm not sure what it is. I just like it, I know that. Uh, the next piece we're gonna do for you, uh, it was written by Bill Potts. It, he, he wrote it for, uh, he wrote it for, uh, let's see, who did he write this for? Buddy Rich. I couldn't remember who he wrote it for. Uh, actually, I, I didn't know who he wrote it for. Buddy Rich Band is one of several bands that Bill Potts wrote for. He wrote for Count Basie, he wrote for Duke Ellington. He actually, very little for Duke Ellington, but a good bit for Woody Herman as well. And this piece is entitled Big Swing Face. It was the title album of uh, one of Buddy's, the title piece on one of Buddy's albums, I think it was back in 74, 75, something like that. Uh, and of course, Buddy Rich is known for, for several outstanding compositions and, and, and arrangements. Channel One Suite being one of them. Uh, the West Side Story medley was a phenomenal arrangement for him. But he said in an interview one time that this piece was the one that was most recommended, actually most uh, asked for piece uh, on the concerts that he played in. And it's just a straight ahead swing jazz chart uh, and it's, it's, I think it's a wonderful piece. So it's entitled Big Swing Face by Bill Potts. Thank you. 
Thank you. We heard, uh, we heard from Connor Mallet again on lead alto, uh, Pablo Tabar on tenor, Nick McGurk on trumpet. We have one more piece for you. It's, yeah, still this afternoon. We have one more piece for you this afternoon. Uh, it's a piece written by Jeff Jarvis. Jeff Jarvis is the director of the Jazz Studies program at Cal State University, Long Beach. Uh, he's a very high energy trumpet player and he writes a lot for several bands. He's part owner of Kendor Publishing for you guys who, who know the publishing world of jazz. Uh, and we're gonna feature, let's see, L.J. Hollingsworth on baritone sax. That's great, I love hearing baritone sax. And Pablo Tabar on the flute. It's a piece called El Tigre. Thank you all very, very much for coming to hear the Georgia Southern University Jazz Ensemble. Appreciate it.
the Georgia Southern University Jazz Ensemble. Thank you very much for being here. You really livened up our afternoon. We're going to take a bit of a break here. Yes, give them a big, big hand. They are a wonderful ensemble. It's going to take our team quite a while to move all of this off the stage to make room for our next performance. So if you would, take the time, uh, maybe get a drink at the bar, make sure you tip your bartender, maybe grab a snack at the food truck outside. We also have t-shirts, we have posters outside that are for sale. And another reminder, if you would, please fill out the survey in your brochure. Thank you very much. <laughs> 